Mocha family. I am really excited about the detangling session that I just had with the girls. Not only was it quicker because I applied all the moisturizing and detangling products to their hair first, but I think by allowing it to kind of marinate in the hair, it did a much better job of working through the tangles. So I'm talking about this Aunt Jackie's Not Having It Creamy Detangler. And I also added a liberal amount of extra virgin coconut oil. I don't know if you guys know that coconut oil does have some detangling properties, but you guys, when it was time for me to detangle their hair and for me to twist it back up again, and also here is Mocha Girl 3 doing her own twist, it was super easy. Now, on to the main part of this video. I wanted to talk to you guys about trimming your girl's hair and how I trim my daughter's hair. And I'm really not shy with cutting their hair. I mean, as you watch me clip these ends and when I show you toward the end of this section right here, how much hair I took off, don't freak out you guys. I just really thought it was necessary to cut it high up enough so that all the stringy ends are gone. I mean, it's sad to lose length when you're trying to grow length, but I'm telling you, those stringy ends really impede the performance of the hair. Not only doesn't the twist look as good when, when you, you're done with the style, but the ends tend to knot up and tangle up around each other and make detangling that much more difficult. So my daughter was a little sad about losing that much length, but I think she agreed at the end when she saw how much better her twist looked that it was absolutely worth it. I also don't worry about doing a perfect job of making her hair perfectly even all around because her hair doesn't grow at the same rate all over her head anyway. So here it is, you guys. It's a lot, but her hair will grow back before she knows it and we'll be happier for it. Because look at this. It just wasn't worth it to keep those raggedy ends. And I think this looks so much better. Now, Ms. Mocha Baby didn't need a trim, so I didn't give her a trim. I don't have a schedule that I put them on, and I don't do the same thing to each kid at the same time. I simply explain to them that their hair is different, and they have different needs. And so if I look at your hair and you don't need a trim, I'm not going to give you a trim. So they were both perfectly okay with the fact that only Mocha Girl 3 was getting her hair done. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be blessed.